Hi everyone. Um, I've done a video about one of these before, although it's a slightly different style. So here we have the uh, AT Tiny 95. Also, it says 95 on there. I don't know why it says 95 though, because it's AT Tiny 85. But anyway, uh, so yeah, this is a little, um, a very small Arduino, and um, yeah, it's a low power thing, very small. You can fit it into all sorts of tiny places, etc. Uh, it's basically just an extreme lightweight uh, Arduino. So let's have a look at it. <clears throat> so here we have AT Tiny uh, 85 there. And as you can see, it's only an 8 pin thing. There's only 8 pins. So you pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And um, it's got um, what looks like a voltage regulator 78L05 so I think it'll be a 5 volt regulator we've got a um, micro USB uh, socket there a couple of tiny resistors and a couple of other bits and pieces tiny capacitors um, what look like two LEDs and six pins and we've also got 5 volts ground and VIN so um, from what I gather you don't actually power via that normally that's for flashing it flashing the Arduino but it's a it's a very strange Arduino uh, this AT Tiny I'll explain why in a second um, so yeah you got 5 volts and ground to power it or if you don't have 5 volts and ground you can power it with VIN and ground and VIN is around about 7 to 10 volts or something like that if I remember rightly so yeah we've got the 6 pins and um, yeah so yeah just before I go into the six pins I will tell you why it's, it's a bit weird so to start with there's no UART uh, you know there's, yeah there's no there's no no UART there's no transmitter and receiver you flash it in a very weird way you get drivers on your PC and then you get this micro USB cable and um, basically the way the drivers work is able to flash this chip um, yeah, so it's not flashed the traditional way, although you don't have to worry about it too much because the Arduino Studio uh, to somewhat deals with it for you, providing you've got the right um, drivers and whatever. So I'll tell you about that in a minute. But anyway, these pins here, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so we've got pin 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I've printed this off to show you, um, to try and explain a bit more. So, um so there's the chip, we've got the dot in the top left corner, so that signifies that it's there. So what have we got? Now I'm not, I'm not going to go into all of this, because quite frankly we don't really need to. But we've got um, an interrupt reset, so if you were to reset that pin, you know, it'll, if you were to manipulate that pin it will reset the, the device. Um, we've also got ADC0 on, uh, on 1, what else have we got here? We've got interrupt. We've got uh, a clock, clock one, uh, ADC three. On this one, we've got an interrupt. We've got a clock, ADC two. Then on this side, we've got the VCC and obviously ground on the other side as well. Sorry. And then we've got uh, right here. We go. It's getting interesting now. We've got serial clock for SPI. We've got serial clock for I squared C and ADC again. And we won't bother about the interrupt. We've got Meso for SPI, and um, we've got um, what else have we got here? We've got I won't bother with those ones as an interrupt, but I won't bother with that. And on this one, we've got Mosey, so it's um, again SPI. We've got SDA for uh, serial data, which is I squared C, and we've got some other bits and pieces here. We've got A ref um, and another interrupt, so it's quite capable. Uh, but like I said, there's no UART, so you have to use something called software serial in, it, in order to be able to use that. Um, so, you know, it's very limited as to what it can do, but, it, you know, it might be useful in some situations. So I'm going to show you how to use it now anyway. I'm going to show you how to get started with it, okay? Okay, so, um, to start with, go to github.com forward slash digistump forward slash digistump arduino forward slash releases and here you should be able to see digistump drivers dot zip so download that um, and we'll give it a minute so um, I'd like to say thank you at this point to digistump because remember that these things take a long time to, to write because it's obviously software 
They take a long time to write, and we're not paying anything. So yeah, um, I really appreciate that Digistump have done this because without these people creating this, you know, we'd be struggling. Anyway, so open this thing up, and then uh, you'll need to extract it. So click extract, and when you've extracted it, if you go into the folder, you'll see something like this, and then in here, double click and install drivers. So press next, 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 blah, 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 and then finish, and it will install the three things that you need in order to get this thing to work. So when you've done that, uh, open up Arduino and then go to File and then Preferences and in this additional Boards Manager URL type in or copy and paste this link here. I'll put it in the description for you. And when you click OK um, some boards should magically appear. So after you've done that go to Tools and then Board and then Boards Manager. And then over here, type in um, Digistump. And you should be able to find this here. So it says Digistump AVR boards by Digistump version blah 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 blah. So click install there and then go to close when it's all done. You might have to restart Arduino too, I'm not sure. So then after you've done this, um, unplug your AT Tiny, then go to file and then examples and then go down to DigiSpark examples where is that? Where's DigiSpark examples? There. Then go to start and we'll just get rid of this and go to tools and then board and then choose the correct board which is DigiSpark default 16.5 megahertz or at least it is for me anyway and then for me I know that mine is model A so I don't need these lines here, it's model A, don't need them, and I don't need that. And then, this is very peculiar, I know, but um, if you press Control and U, or press Upload there, it'll start to upload, but not using the UART, it's a bit weird, I know. So it says, plug the device in now, it'll time out in 60 seconds. So plug it into the micro USB, in Windows 10 of course you'll get that noise, and it says thank you. Uh, oh, it's done uploading. That was fast. That was very fast. Um, so there you go. Now, my AT Tiny now is blinking because, of course, I've said digital right, uh, pin one high, wait for a second, pin one low, which is the LED. So for me now, the thing's blinking and it's done. And um, that's how to very quickly get started with the AT Tiny 95 or 85, depending on how you want to call it. So as usual, thank you for watching and goodbye.